Okay, I'll continue here. <clears throat> I think this is part 11. Yeah. Okay. The female... Okay, I'll, I'll read back a little bit. The bartender laughed and said, This is the third time this crazy sort of thing has happened that I can know of. The first time was back in, 2012, was back in 2010. Whoever was putting these things out there on the desert must be doing it more frequently since the last collision with one was about a month ago. The female of the couple who hit the latest computer said, I wonder who is using the playa as his own personal computer graveyard. Playa is the Black Rock Desert. Yeah. Okay. As on personal graveyard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Shoot. Oh yeah, here it is. There could be a lot of them out there, said her husband. Mr. Rothman brushed away the desert dust and noticed that the old computer was spray-painted gold. Do you think that's the only reason the computers have been banished to the desert? asked Mr. Rothman. The bartender thought and said, This is the first computer that has been painted gold. Uh, the ones before it were painted black and had the computer, had the computer monitors attached to them. I wonder if there was anything playable in it. The last time this happened, we didn't have a computer of our own to play the data disks um, that were inside these machines. And I never heard from the people who hit them ever again, even when they said they'd call me with what they might have found on the disks or the hard drives of these computers. Too bad it was just phone numbers we exchanged. When I call them, they don't answer. It's as if they just disappeared off the planet. That's creepy, said Mr. Rothman. I, I wonder what it means. The bartender uh, asked the couple if the computers, if the computer they struck had a CD in, in it they could play. Sure enough, there was. There was one. Uh, but due to the car hitting it, it was broken in half and unplayable. Crap, shouted the bartender to see the data disc in two pieces. The, bar uh, the, the bartender's female friend said, Maybe when we get home I can repair it with the glue and, with glue and see what it has on it. Then you'll disappear next, La laughed Rothman. Right, joked the bartender, but didn't really laugh. Mr. Rothman noticed uh, black felt writing on the CD that, when put together, spelled out the words Project Oracle. The bartender saw it and said, Project Oracle, isn't, that, isn't an oracle something from Greek, myth, myth, uh, from Greek myth that was a person or object that could see the future? I believe so, said the woman. Some minutes later, when the, uh, when the subject... Some minutes later, when the subject switched to other things besides trying to find out if the golden computer's hard drive survived enough to, intact to see if it had any data on it that could uh, lead them to who was putting old obsolete computers out in the middle of nowhere, if they could find a working old computer to play it, Mr. Rothman looked up at the paper flying saucer packet nailed to the wall thought of its cryptic repeated message and asked the bartender, could you play that could you play that video again? When the bartender did, Mr. Rothman became shocked at just how much it looked like one of the guys who was exposing Islam on the internet. No Muslim wanted to uh, expose Islam on the internet. No Muslim wanted the free infidel world to know about. 
messages from the edge of Earth are coming. So the man on the grainy video that was now playing off of a more modern CD. Messages from the edge of Earth are coming. I think I'll end it here.